Hi, in this video we're going to learn about if statements and conditionals in Carol. So let's talk about crashes in Carol. When we make a mistake in our program, it's called a bug. For example, if Carol runs into a wall, that would be a bug. To prevent these bugs, we can ask questions about Carol's world. We might want to ask, is Carol front clear? Are there any balls in Carol's current position? Is Carol facing east? And so the way we ask these questions is using conditionals. So introducing conditionals. A conditional is a function that returns a true or false answer. So let's take a look at these. Here's a list of conditionals that we can ask Carol. We can ask is the front clear, using front is clear. That will either be true or false. We can ask is the left clear, using left is clear, is the right clear? Are there balls present? Is Carol facing north? These are all questions Carol can ask about his world. And based on the answer to these questions, we can do one thing or another. The first main use of conditionals is for if statements. And we can say if some condition is true, then let's execute some code. But we only want to execute that code if that condition is true. Notice the format of our if statements. It's similar to our loops and functions in that it ends with a colon, then the part of the code that we want to execute is indented one level. Let's look at some examples of real life if statements. We can say if it is raining, then you can use an umbrella. That would be like, if it is raining, use an umbrella. If your room is dirty, then you should clean your room. In Carol, what does it look like? Well, if the front is clear, then you can move. You wouldn't want to move if the front is blocked. That would be a bug. So we can use a conditional statement to help us make sure that the front is clear before we move. I want to highlight one specific thing. That's the open and close parentheses after front is clear. That's because front is clear is a function and we are calling a function. When we call that function, our program will return either true or false. So let's take a look at some of these in our editor. All right, so let's take a look at our if statements. So if we had something that said, okay, let's move Carol two times, and we run this code, we're going to see that Carol crashes. So Carol crashed into our wall because Carol couldn't move that second time. And so what we want to do is we want to actually make sure that the wall, the front is clear before we move. So we're going to say if front is clear, and again, it's a function, so we're going to put open and close parentheses, then the part that we want to put inside there is going to be indented one level. Okay, so now we can say, we can reset our code and run that. And we're going to say, Carol does not move because the, the front was not clear. We can actually see how this works by putting another statement afterwards. We can say turn left here. And we're going to see that it skips this move here and jumps over to this turn left. And again, the move is indented, so it's part of our function or part of our condition. And this turn left is not part of our condition because it's no longer indented. So let's try that. Great, so Carol didn't move that second time, skipped over that statement, and then turned left. So let's look at another example. So we have this safe take ball. What we want to look at is essentially having Carol take ball. So we can say take ball, then move, then take ball. Okay, if we run this code, we're going to say, uh-oh, there's no balls to pick up. So we want to create a function called safe take ball. So we're going to say safe take ball and safe take ball there. And our safe take ball function is going to basically say, if there's a ball there, take it. Otherwise, don't do anything. So let's go ahead and define that function. So safe take ball. Okay. And now this function is basically just going to say if ball is present, take ball. 
And so now we can have this safe take ball so that Carol doesn't crash every time he goes to pick up a tennis ball. So now it says, nope, no ball there, but then here there is a ball and it picks up that ball. So that's it. Now it's your turn to play around.